guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a vlog. I grabbed a couple clips from this morning on my phone and just put that at the start of today's video because I didn't wanna be lugging my camera around and I had a lot to do this morning. So um, anyway, I ran a couple errands and all the things, but I'm home now and I'm comfy cozy in my new camo fitness gear. I am obsessed with camo fitness, you guys. I have done a couple hauls on my channel now and I've featured them multiple times on all of my platforms. Like I just really truly love this fitness brand and they're slowly taking over my entire activewear drawer that I have in our bedroom because I just, I'm always grabbing for it and it's just my favorite. If you guys are new here, Camo Fitness is an athletic brand, an activewear brand that is very affordable but really, really high quality. And I find myself wearing my camo stuff at the gym and at home just to be comfy. So I just feel like that's like the perfect happy medium. That's something that I look for in all of my activewear. And I have some really, really, really expensive leggings and things that I wear to the gym but that I would not wear like at home. They're not comfy cozy. They're not something I want to be wearing at home. But Camo Fitness has it figured out. They are always who I recommend. I get a lot of DMs asking on Instagram like what are your favorite active wear leggings? Like what do you wear to the gym? Camo. These are my favorite. They're so good and they came out with a new collection. I'm gonna put the name of the collection here. And the collection is all like blues, grays, and black. Really, really beautiful colors. I do wanna thank Camo Fitness for sending these pieces to me and for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have my little cheat sheet over here just so I can remember the names to everything. So the bra that I'm wearing is the Chloe Allura Sports Bra. Now this I don't believe is a new style, but it's in the new colorways and I think this bra is stunning. I had this in one of the other colors, but I got it in an extra small and the girls are just hanging out. So I put it in my comfy drawer. I wear that at home like under pajamas and things because it's so comfortable. It's buttery, buttery soft. But this one I could actually see myself wearing to the gym because it does have more coverage. I got it in the small and it just fits a lot better. So absolutely love this. This is in their new royal blue and I just think it is so beautiful. It's definitely like a little bit more vibrant than a navy but it's not your typical royal either it's a little bit deeper and i just think it's really flattering and beautiful now these leggings are the allura v-line leggings these also have a very subtle like scrunch in the bum but once you put them on you cannot see the scrunch they're just flattering like it just kind of shapes your cheeks a little bit which is what i really love about their new scrunch feature is it's not something that you can see i have some leggings that you can like see it I really don't love that look. Um, unfortunately, I spent a lot on those leggings, so I do still wear them, but I much I much prefer these that you like can't see the scrunch, but they're very flattering, and I love the compression on Camo Fitness leggings. Like The compression up here is so nice, but it's very smoothing. Like This is a really kind of like thin material, and somehow it's not see-through. I did the squat test in these, super impressed. I even did them in the lighter blue color, which I'll share in a minute. They were not see-through i was a little bit shook so yes absolutely love these little close-up on everything but this is their cozy tech full zip up hoodie i have this in the blue like a light blue shade this is in the color meteorite i love these you guys look usually you cannot see how soft something is i think that you guys can see or get the idea of how soft these are on the inside. One that I have, I have owned for, I don't know, like four months now. Wash and wear and wash and wear. I wear it all the time, all the time. Um, and the inside is still just as dreamy. I love the zipper, how it has the little like circular zip, really long strings and so slouchy. It's so slouchy and so, it, it's just so good you guys I freaking love it so much and I got it in a size small medium so oh it's just the best okay so they did come out with a new fabric it's their Allura fabric so that is what these leggings are um, that I'm wearing and they are in between the serenity fabric and in between these this is from like a previous launch um, in between the feather light so the feather light leggings are like feather light they're really really nice kind of second skin type of material and then the serenity i find is just like a little bit more buttery soft to the touch a tiny bit i don't want to say they are just like a tiny bit like thicker 
it feels like and not as cool to the touch whereas I feel like the feather lights are kind of cool to the touch a little bit more slippery and the serenity is a little bit more buttery if these had a baby you would get the Allure leggings which in my opinion are just heaven I am obsessed this may be my favorite fabric this may be my favorite fabric because it's just that perfect in between okay so let's run through these pieces first this little set so like i had mentioned these are the serenity leggings these are 25 inch inseam in the color baby blue and i got these in an extra small i love this beautiful baby blue color i think it's so gorgeous it's got the v seam in the back these do not have the scrunch bum but they are so flattering you guys i was shook when the squat test i mean seriously you guys you cannot see my skin through these leggings it's wild i just feel like in this color that's very impressive i usually wear my darker colors on leg day my lighter colors on upper body day but i could totally get away with wearing these for leg day so absolutely love those and then this cute little top this is their lila short sleeve top got this in an extra small it's a cute little cap sleeve crop sports top the most amazing thing about this you guys is the fact that it has a legit like full built-in bra with pads inside the shirt I think I would have been better off with the small I do feel a little bit restricted in the arms this is not something that I would wear for arm day but I think in the small it would be better but regardless if I was gonna wear it as just like athleisurely with um, the matching leggings a cute little like white button-up over the top and white sneakers so stinking cute okay next up I have their cozy tech sweatpants so these are joggers that match the sweatshirt and these joggers are so flattering they're such a dream because they're that same incredibly soft yummy fabric on the inside you guys these are so warm these are just so cute as a set i love the way they fit i love the way they feel i love the super scrunchy waistband just something about it that i feel like is really really flattering and it does have the little pockets love these 10 out of 10 absolutely obsessed want more colors this next bra is the eva sports bra and i got this in a size extra small and i absolutely love it this is just a good classic basic black sports bra it's got the racer back buttery buttery fabric and it's double lined so there's a lot of good support in there it's got the pads on the inside as well and i absolutely love just the simplicity of this one Next up, you guys, I have the Serenity Straight Leg Pants. Now, I think you guys are going to freak over these. These are so good. They're in that incredible, buttery, stretchy material of the Serenity leggings. Like, truly a dream, dream fabric. Except for they're in, like, a straight leg pant. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have never experienced anything like these pants before. They look nice. They look like they almost could be dress pants, but they literally feel like pajamas or better. So very, very stretchy, stretchy waistband. It's got the drawstring. It's got this really nice seam down the front, which makes them look just like elevated. And they've got the front pockets as well. No pockets in the back. And these are so flattering you guys. I love a good straight leg pant anyway. I feel like it's just flattering on my body type, but these next level love that i am only 5'4 and these go to like just below my ankle they're not on the floor so keep in mind they are kind of like cropped at the bottom they're not like a capri it's like a cropped kind of straight leg pant which looks really cute with like chunky white sneakers or something like that but i'm not that tall so i feel like just keep that in mind when ordering these definitely great for some petite girlies for sure next up i have the allura wrapped leggings now these have a little bit of like a wrapped crisscross waistband this is really really flattering honestly do not normally like the crisscross waistband i don't know why it's not flattering on me i don't have much of a torso so i feel like it maybe it just doesn't fall in the right spot i love these there's something about the camel waistbands that just kind of snatch you in but in a smooth way like you're not feeling cut off or like it's just not unflattering i love that they're in the classic black these i would even wear just like on the weekends, throughout the week. The other thing that's different about these ones versus the other black ones that I have from Camo is my other ones do not have the scrunch bum. So like I said, once you have these on, you cannot see the scrunch. Kind of straightens out and it's just really flattering on the cheeks. And last but certainly not least, again, this is another piece that I kind of wish I had sized up to the small, but once I have it on, it is so 
gorgeous. I say that. I actually don't because I feel like the small would be too long. It's just it's very fitting on my arms, so it's very like compressive, which is not a bad thing. But this is the Everly Cropped Long Sleeve. I just think this is so gorgeous on the fabric, you guys. It has such a nice finish. These pieces look so much more expensive than they are. And I love that this top has this little scrunch detail on the sides. Kind of comes up a little bit on the sides, which I feel like on those obliques is just so flattering. That's like my favorite style top and I got it in the classic black and this is actually something that even I would wear with like jeans and sneakers you guys those are the new pieces that I picked out from their new launch I'm so excited to be sharing them with you guys if you are also a camo fitness lover or you've recently purchased it and fallen in love with the brand comment down below share your thoughts just to solidify everything I'm saying I really want to spread the word about this brand because I feel like active wear can be so expensive and people think that they have to spend a lot of money to get the quality and that's just not the case here I also have have a coupon code to share with you guys I will put it on the screen also put it down below with all the links so there is that so what else are we doing in today's vlog you ask I am asking the same thing my office is a mess I need to organize some things I need to organize some things and then I need to have some lunch and then my dad's coming over at like 3 30 I think to help me redesign my closet because my closet there's a lot of space that's not being used. Like we have nine foot ceilings and the closet rods are hung as if we have like eight foot ceilings, um, just at like a standard length, which makes sense. But I would just rather use more space. So um, yeah, I'm gonna rearrange like where the rods are, the height of them. And then I kind of want to do like a shelf situation maybe on one side. I don't know, playing around with it. So we're going to be doing that today. I need to edit and post a reel, which you guys, I just hit 100K on Instagram this week. I'm sorry, like what? What in the world, you guys? I had 20,000 followers last June and now I have over 100,000 followers on Instagram. I literally cannot believe it. We are going out to celebrate tomorrow night, but it's just been wild. Like I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years and I'm still not at 100K and I hit 100K on Instagram. So if you don't already follow me over there, go ahead and follow me over there. I'm getting like more and more active. The more followers I have, just the more motivation I kind of have to like be even more active over there, even though I already was, I was already on it every single day, but I'm posting a reel every single day and I'm just like on my stories, sharing random clips throughout the day. So I would love to connect with you guys over there. I love that it's like in real time. Instagram's kind of like my number one platform right now because I just feel like I can connect with you guys. I feel like YouTube, I love it. It's where I started. This is where my OGs are and I don't have like any plans on giving up YouTube anytime soon. I just love Instagram because it just feels like so much more in real time. Like I can have like conversations back to back whereas on YouTube it's like I'm talking to a camera, then I edit it, then I post it, then you guys see it, then you comment and then a couple days later I might comment back and it's like it's just not the same. I love connecting with you guys over on Instagram. So anyway, let's clean up my office. This morning I went to Target to grab a few things, okay? And I hadn't been in a couple weeks, which is not normal for me. And I go every week for good reason because I came home with an embarrassing amount of things, you guys. I have a humongous, my biggest Target haul ever coming up for you guys, okay? So just hang in there <laughs> because I've gotta get stuff organized, I've gotta get stuff linked and figure out how I'm even gonna go about it might be a part one and a part two. I think it's going to have to be. <clears throat> I need to organize all that stuff and get it in this closet. Look at this cute beach bag from Target. Granted, it's stuffed <laughs> with all the things, but isn't that cute? It's huge, it's like the perfect little beach bag though. I love it. Oh 
Also, look at this cute little outfit I got, Ellie. These pants. They're like a ribbed material. So cute. Bottoms. With this sweater, are we joking? This little with the rolled hem. Isn't that sweet? Like perfect little comfy spring outfit. Adorable. Hopefully she'll wear it. My dad just came over and we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with my closet. Which we don't really have many options, okay? Bigger problem, we ran upstairs to look at the closet up there. And there was like a big stain across one of the pillows. And I'm like, he blew shit all over the, my freaking rug. You do really. You blog everything. Are you literally filming that? Yeah, this is my situation right now. Like, what? We don't have enough flowers or candles to, to regulate that scent that's coming. Oh, gosh, I'm hang that out on you. Hey, baby. Who is it? Hi, hey. Bobby. I'm peeking around the corner. Don't no, come in. Nina, how are you? Hi, hey, Bubba Lou. I love them. Look at these, because out there, there's one. So to clean it, Kyle got, like, the initial off the rug. It wasn't even that wasn't solid, it was like. It makes me sad because he was asking to go out, but it must have been when I was gone this morning at the gym, but he went out first thing this morning, like he went out before we left, so he must have eaten something that upset his stomach. But anyway, this thing is my freaking best friend. I'm gonna link this for you guys. If you do not own it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anytime there's like a stain or anything on any um, thing in our house that's like cushioned, like our couch, chairs, rugs that thing is a lifesaver so let me show you it's like right here we have a towel underneath it because it was like leaking through to the like underneath but yeah it was right here i just put some stain stuff on it that's all from his nails he was like scratching at the rug god love him so anyway better than i thought it was gonna be yeah but that little green vacuum thing is the best i had two candles going today and i'm like our house doesn't normally stink so i was so confused Came out better than you thought, babe? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, it was actually me this morning. I was just embarrassed to tell you. <laughs> Scratching at the rug. Ugh. Making some pizza for the kids. Just keep it low key the rest of the night. You can put that in now, actually. My dad brought over. Um, look how cute. How sweet is that? What's that? Cinnamon Homemade raisin bread. bread. Yum. Cranberry orange bread. Oh. Feel how heavy it is. Well, where'd you get it, honey? At a uh, oh. market. Yum. Homemade bread. And me and Ox are talking about seasoning our own bacon. Fun. I got smoked unseasoned bacon. From where? The meat market. Oh. Right. I'm gonna clean up my vacuum and clean the parts. And I swear some days when the kids get home, it just feels so overwhelming. It's just like, I don't know, like when the kids, they're like having fun, but they're like really overexcited and they're like wanting to play together, but then they're also like driving each other nuts. And then they're like, no, yeah, no, eh. And then we had the poop situation. My dad was here, Carly was here, which they just happened to be here when the kids got home because the kids got home earlier than they normally do. Kyle and the kids. Um, so we're like, Trying to clean up the poop. Oh, we, it's just, there was kind of a lot going on at once. Okay. Braxton also left a big skid mark across the bedding upstairs in the guest room. So I brought that all downstairs. I stripped the entire bed to wash that. Like just when you get caught up on laundry, <laughs> something like that happens. Somebody has like a, they wet the bed or he actually, now that I think about it, had an accident on this blanket this morning too. And I was like, oh, poor guy had like a wet fart. It's much more than a wet fart. All right, so let's wash this. Get that going. Oh, let me just talk to you about my closet. It's it's so messy in here, you guys. 
I have a rack over here for a long, so it's just one rod on this side with a shelf above. And then I have this little shelving unit that I got from Target. Kyle also has one of these on his side. And it seemed and has been a great solution. Like it's it worked out well. But like I'm outgrowing. I'm outgrowing, outgrowing. I mean, it's just bursting at the seams. So yes, I do need to go through my closet for starters. But also with what I do for a living, like I feel like I actually don't, I don't know, I just need more space. So I've been frustrated with my closet because it's just a nightmare. So I'm wondering if I like raise everything up like a foot. So this is up higher, that gets lifted up higher. If that would give me a little bit more floor space over here, which would just be nice. But I also really want to hang all my jeans. So I'm like maybe on this side, we like lower this a foot and a half maybe so that this like my longest stuff is just like just off the floor. And then maybe I can fold my jeans over a hanger like this. Like I have my skirts like fold them in half and then hang all my jeans up there on a second rod. Does that make sense? So that's kind of what I'm considering doing. And then maybe just making like a smaller unit over I don't know because we like our towels are up there I don't know it's just a mess and when there's like things in our house that are bothering me they like consume my brain I'm like well, how could it, how could I fix this what could we do to make it better <laughs> another toxic trait of mine anyway I'm gonna finish up bedtime and stuff hi hi baby girl yeah let's watch a show together okay give me one minute okay so these frames in the living room that's okay Mm -hmm. I had gotten these in a dark wood, which I really, really loved for fall and winter. I thought it was just nice, homey, cozy, and I love like the antique kind of vintage feel of like the dark wood right now. But for spring and summer, I'm like, I'm just really wanting to brighten things up. So we're kind of doing like a living room refresh. So I went to Target and got these light frames, which I think will be really, really pretty. They're like a nice neutral. And for that big of a frame, what size are these? Uh, 14 by 18 um they were only like 19 dollars or something which i feel like is actually really good so i'm gonna swap those pictures out tonight and hang those and then i need to decide on what i'm doing for a rug i love our laloi rug i love this rug so much but honestly i had my eye on it for like two or three years before i bought it before we moved into our house and then i bought it for our house because i knew it was the one that i wanted so I've just looked at it for so long. And again, I just feel like it's really dark for spring and summer. So I wanted something less green, a little bit less dark. And I'm going to layer whatever new rug I find over this jute rug that I got. I really, really love the layered look right now. So I wanted to layer them, which I think the layering would look nice with this rug as well. I'm just, I'm like, I don't know if I'm feeling these colors in this rug. And it's gonna, it's a commitment to move everything, put that rug down and then a new rug down. So I wanna make sure that like, I either decide to just keep this rug and kind of refresh everything else or get a new rug and roll this one up and keep it for fall and winter like down in the basement. I'm gonna try to order something tonight. It is time for bed, please. Knox, I'll handle it. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I thought you were playing in the hallway. Go to bed, mama. Oh, dude. Pull it out this way. Oh, yeah. If you turn those, bud, so that they're under here, that would be helpful. Turn all of them so they slide underneath. Yeah, just like that. So it tucks it in nice and tight. Oh, I didn't do this one. That's okay, honey. I'm just going to slide this out. We could actually put a couple of frames in your room. I guess some you of these. Did need help, Mama. I guess I did. I could always use your help. Do you want to print out some pictures and we could put them in your room? Yeah. Maybe swap out what we have above your bed. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sure, though. Maybe we could print out some old sports pictures. Yeah. You and Daddy could look up maybe some old sports pictures. You would know what to look up. Some baseball pictures or something. We could put them in there. Thanks for doing that, bud. That one looks Welcome. great. Perfect. I love it. That was awesome. We had that one for a while. Yeah, but I couldn't. Let me do this. Angela Roy Queen. Oh, that one's dirty. Look at that one at the bottom. I don't even know how it got dirty. Well, that's the sand. Oh. For no reason. Weird. Stink? Smells good. Are those are milk? Yep, I got new ones because I wanted like a lighter color oh, for spring. Can I do this one? Yeah, go ahead. Just be very careful because it is glass. Can I do it on the back? You gotta take the cardboard off first. Okay. That way, yep. I wish I could do scissors right now. Here, you gonna get it started? Yeah. There, now you can kind of shimmy it out. Shimmy, shimmy. See? I like brown beans. That too. That too. Perfect. Yep. Now, hang on just a second. Let me finish. I'll swap with you. You can tighten this one. Okay. Ooh. They're a little sharp. You okay? Well, I just cut myself. Did you? Are you bleeding? No. Okay. What did it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they're a little aggressive. I love it. I love it, too. Are you taking a video? Yeah, sorry. I forgot to tell you. Oh, that's okay. I saw it. Hi. <laughs> Who are you giving it to? It's for my YouTube channel. I get to see it on YouTube. Mm hmm Really? Oh, well, I'll do that one. Yeah, perfect to me. Thank you. Yeah, I'll do that one. Watch me. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Savage, that's what you are. Yep, this one's good. One's good, let's check like it out. I tried doing this. I didn't move one little bit. Perfection. Oh, can I do the tape? Yep, perfect. Nice. I'm in my office now. I've been looking at rugs <laughs> and stuff. <clears throat> Kyle went to a friend's house tonight, so I'm like, I'm just gonna do some things that I've been like thinking about. Let me show you. I ordered these chairs for the living room. They're so cute. They're like super different, but they were pretty affordable. And the color of like the upholstery or whatever, the color of them is like an off, not an off-white, it's like a light tan, so I feel like it'll be like easier to keep clean. I wanted something that was like lighter than the dark green chairs that we have, but I didn't want something that was cream because I didn't want to have to keep it clean. And our couch is like a performance fabric and it's cream, and that's like fairly easy to keep clean. I think once a year I'm gonna have to have it like professionally cleaned. Um, but like I said, it's a performance fabric, like it was a little bit of a splurge. So, where this is not a performance fabric, yeah, I wanted something that had just a little bit more color to it. So, I got two of those to go in the living room. And I think I'm going to keep our rug. I think I'm going to keep the rug that we have because I do love that rug. But I think I'm going to put the jute rug underneath, add those chairs in. Sounds like there's like a scary movie on in the living room. Give me anxiety. Um... And then I ordered a rug for our master because the rug that we have is like pretty much cream, white, gray, something like that. And it doesn't have like a design on it really. It just has like a border, like a very simple border. And I love that rug, but we got it in like June of last year. And because of the color of it, it's just like dull. It's looking real dull. And it's a pretty thin rug and we don't have a pad under it. So it's just like not the coziest. Um, and I just want something with a little bit more like pattern and personality. So I'll pop a picture up of the rug that I just ordered for our bedroom. It's an Amber Lewis and Leloy collab. Those rugs are my favorite. Like they're just my favorite. 
Um, and I have one of them in the kitchen now and it's like, I forget what they're called, like they're cloud rugs or something like that. And they are so soft yet easy to clean and they don't really ever look dirty and I don't know, there's something about those rugs that's incredible. I wanna look for really tall arched mirrors to go over our nightstands. I also bought new nightstands. I'm gonna start to sound crazy, but <laughs> the nightstands I bought were from CB2. We waited months for them to come in. They came in. They're very expensive. Kyle and I had saved up for three years living in our apartment, we had saved up so that when we got into our house, we could get nice, good quality furniture, like at least the staples, like our bed, our couch, dining table, nightstands, like there were certain things that we wanted to splurge on. We splurged on certain things. The nightstands came in, the color was completely off from what they looked like on the website. But I was like, I still loved the nightstands, so I was like, I'm gonna make it work, I'm gonna make it work. And like sending nightstands back after you've unpackaged them and done all the things and like set them up in your house, then to ship them back, I was just like, it's fine, it's fine. Like we had so much coming in and out at that point, like it was right when we moved in, so it was like ordering and returning rugs and ordering and returning mirrors and order, it was just so much that certain things I was like, it's fine. And now I'm like, it's really not fine because it doesn't look right in there. They're way too small, they're way too low, they're way too narrow, <laughs> the color is not right. I'm gonna try to sell those on Marketplace. And then I ordered these. I love these, I love the color of them. I love the texture, I love the shape. It's so hard till you get it in. And then you're like, mm, it's not really the vision. <laughs> Is anyone else like me? And honestly, when I buy new stuff, 75% of the time I sell what we used to have. And then I'm able to pay for at least like 75% of the new item. So it's not like I'm just like super wasteful or I'm just being, I mean, I'm be, I might be being irrational, but I'm not being like dumb about it. <laughs> you know, I definitely want to find new homes for like the pieces that I purchased and am just not enjoying anymore. I'm going to try to wrap this little shopping session up, place a couple of orders and then go get ready for bed and wait for Kyle to get home. That is absolutely it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog don't forget to check out camo and their new launch i'm posting this i think the day before the launch so everything's launching tomorrow so stay tuned follow me on instagram for updates i hope you guys are all doing well i love you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>